Hello everybody, I'm Lizix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your colors in Rock Band 2. Yes, custom colors have been figured out, finally. That's the wrong file. So in your RPCS3, this works. I, This probably works on real hardware as well. I have not tested it myself, but uh, if you have real hardware and you want to test this, uh, go right ahead. So in your PS3 game data here for Rock Band 2, open the install folder. Uh, here it is, uh, game plus 30147. In the user dir, you're gonna need a couple of files. You're gonna need a custom eboot.bin that has the checksums removed and the strum limit fix, which I will have linked in the description or you can find in pinned in the Milo Hacks Rock Band Hacks uh, channel. But I'll just leave that in the description. You're also gonna need Smasher Plate and Gra track graphics.dta you can take those from uh the rock band 2 game arc so if i go into the rock band 2 disc here user dir uh, you can extract these arc files and get it uh i'll also have those in, in a file linked in the description uh anyway to get started you're going to need a couple of things you're going to need this is just in g2 tools you're going to need dtab and Makulaha, uh, which will both be linked in the description. You need Makulaha for Arc Helper, which is what we're going to be using here to extract the patch PS3 files here from UserDir. So I'm just going to open up a new command prompt because that one had a bunch of stuff in it. Just go ahead and cd to dtab. And then I do arc helper arc to to dir, and then I drag in the patch PS3 HDR file, and now you create a new folder. I'm just gonna title it arc for the arc folder. And I fucked up. Yeah, okay. I forgot. So arc helper arc to dir. Uh, drag the HDR file in create a new arc folder, and then do dash A, dash S, so it converts all DTBs, or, yeah, all DTBs to DTA, so they're all text, and the S does that, and dash A just c pushes everything out of the arc file, which is what we need. So let it just copy it all over, as you can see, it's writing the files, I'll give that a minute. Now that it's done, you can see it converted all of the scripts in the files. So yeah, now they're all DTA, which means they're text files that can just be edited in any text editing thing. I have them just set to immediately open in Notepad. You can set them to like Notepad++ or whatever. And that's just what I have them set to. Next, you're going to have to grab Smasher Plate and Track Graphics. You can either do this by using uh, Arc Helper to do the same thing. Do uh, arc helper arc to dir, and then just put in the RB2 ISO and then dash A dash S, and then you can get those from. If I'm gonna, if you were gonna do that this way, I'll show you where you can find it in arc2 config, um, and then in arc2 config, if you convert the scripts. You can find track graphics there, and for Smasher Plate, arc, the arc folder, track, and then it'll be right there, you can find Smasher Plate DTA. I did not convert the scripts of my Rock Band 2 arc, of the disc arc, but that's fine, because I'm just going to be using with the patch arc, because it's a lot faster to uh, modify a patch arc, so copy smash your plate into the track folder that dta into your arcs folder track folder and then track graphics into config now as you can see if i open up track graphics here you can see it says green red yellow blue and then orange in these files so this is our uh guitar setup if you're using drums you can also change the colors uh, if you want, you can change, like, the, here's the kick, there's the red, there's the yellow, there's the blue, 
and there's the green. You can change your kit, your drum colors if you want. This is I'm just going to be showing how you can change it with um, guitar. So I'm going to be changing this into the de de deluxe colors, the Guitar Hero 2 deluxe colors, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue. So I'm just going to change green here. You can also just... Um, you can also um, do a, a replace, so you can just do a replace, and you could also do it that way. But I'm going to be doing it this way, because it's um, simpler, and it doesn't screw up with any other colors, so I can know. Okay, so I changed my guitar colors, and I didn't screw up drums accidentally. Red, orange, yellow, green green you gotta spell it right green blue and then you keep you scroll down past all the drum stuff to slot colors here and you change these to your color set just like that save the file and before you, this is the most important part before you go ahead and do dirt arc with this go to the other file the smasherplate.dta scroll down a little bit until you find the colors again in this order and then just change them again red orange yellow green blue i'd like to mention that these are the only colors that are defined you can also use the star power color as a gem color technically but there is no defined there's no white for a smasher color so for the strike line the strike line only has red orange yellow green and blue defined so you can also use star power as one of the gems but i wouldn't recommend it that's how you do it save that file close out with all that done I shouldn't have closed a uh, command prompt. Uh, so I'm just gonna CD back to DTAB. We're gonna use Arc Helper once again, but this time we're gonna do Dir2 Arc. Uh, so we just. Oh yeah, uh, you should back up your current patch PS3 files just in case you do anything stupid. So I'm just gonna make a backup folder right now and drag my the original patch ps3 files in this will also still work online for those wondering yes i've tried it it will still connect to the rock band servers so now dirt arc you drag in the arc folder and then you drag the folder where you want the arcs to be created and then after that you put in i'll have a the command in the description where you put all the extensions in you just go and paste that so i'm just going to modify this to be patch ps3 and that's perfect press enter give it a minute using dtab and it will convert all of the dtas to dtb once that's done we should have an arc file in gen road hdr as you can see it's done check gen there's the new patch ps3 files and now if you're not using this eboot file, which I have linked in the description, and copy it, uh, probably you should make a backup of the current eboot in the folder. Uh, but if you don't, that's fine. This will probably work uh, just being replaced, but I have backups of the eboot. If you don't, that's fine. And then you go ahead and start up the game. Oh boy, we get to see the intro cinematic again this, watching this intro cinematic so many times it's starting to get boring but I still like it I'm just gonna skip it using some DTA trickery you can also get uh, DualShock to work as a guitar I'm not doing that I'm just using my keyboard as a guitar cuz I'm too lazy to set up my guitar Not to work. Quick play. And then I just pick any song. I have so many songs to select. I'm just going to let random pick something. Hangar 18. Okay, sure. 
I guess a Guitar Hero 2 song fits because I have deluxe colors. Oh, smoky. And just like that, as you can see, the color arrangement changed. The gems are right. Even the gem trails on the sustains are correct. Everything works. And I think that's all, because I don't want to play anymore on keyboard. Uh, thank you for watching. This is a really quick and easy thing to do. Just thought I'd make a tutorial, as this literally just came out tonight as I'm recording this. Um, or yesterday as I'm recording this, because it went midnight, but... Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoy your custom colors in Rock Band 2. Peace out.